Good evening, folks. Once again, I am the Master of Ceremonies, the King of Kings, Diamondo. And once again, we're playing another round of the Sky of Four. We're going to go for at least four hours on this session. One, to level up our characters. Two, to advance the story. And we got a lot to cover, folks, so let us begin. I shall re-educate you! some balls.
yourself. Ha! Time to bust some balls. Here I come. Ha! Let's go. some balls I got this time to bust some balls Fire. 
take this! I shall re-educate you! Here I come! Time to bust some balls!
Some balls. Your back is wide open.
up here.
ไปครับแทนดับบัสซัมบอลส์ฮะบริสเยอร์เซลฟ์ฮะเจ้าไปครับเจ้าเอาเปิดไปเลยเริ่มเลยเ
Sardines!
I shall re-educate you!
on, let's go! Time to bust some balls! Bust some balls. I'm a ghost. some balls ha huh. i won't lose ha huh. here i come this Thank you. 
time to bust some balls. Yeah. And this. Huh. Perish. Here I come. Show you. I got this. Ha! Brace yourself. Show you. Yeah. yeah. Time to bust some balls. Here I come! 
some balls. some balls.
time to bust some balls! I shall re-educate you! Forgive me. back is wide open. some balls here I go here I come here I go I got this John Jacob Jingle Irishman here I come some balls.
yourself. Here I come! Forgive me. Disappear. You all ready for this? Me too! I shall elegantly be ready. Here I come! Oh, <laughs> 
with me.
I come.
Show. This is it! The Netherworld, a world supported by fear energy that is harvested from the human world. The demons here obey only one thing, power. They are divided into different areas, depending on their own personal power. Valvatore's and his party's first destination lies in the lowest level of the Netherworld. It's an area inhabited by demonic weaklings and lowly peons. It's been a while since I've smelt the foul air of the Netherworld. The sounds of screams echoing in the distance, the blood-soaked ground, the warm air, oh, the sweet memories. Yes, the first time we met, during the Golden Age, when my lord reigned over this world as its tyrant. This place hasn't changed a bit. Ugh! Enough of this sappy crap! We need to hurry up and correct the false news reports! Desko, listen up. If you want to keep being my little sister, you need to act more girly. Girly? But Desko wants to be a final boss. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a girl. I don't want to have a tomboy for a sister. Okay, then Desko will be girly. are your biggest enemy. Make sure you're careful about that, okay? Yes, yes! Desko thought that heroes were her only biggest enemies, but Desko will have you be raised to her list as well. What the hell are you two talking about? So this is it. I heard they went through quite a transformation since the last time I've been here. But I didn't expect this. <laughs> its appearance isn't the only thing. They have the most advanced security system that was designed by the Science Bureau. No matter how small or strong they are, no demon can crack their security. It's pretty much impossible. Even if that demon is a final boss? They still couldn't do it. Have you heard of the Angel of Avarice? She can't even get through here. The Angel of Avarice? Who is that? It's a name that was given to a thief who apparently is an angel that steals from major banks and wealthy families. An angel thief? Oh, what has the world come to? It's a good thing this is just a dream. The human world is definitely on the verge of its final corruption. Celestia must be going broke, since few humans have faith these days. Anyway, we successfully made it through the security system, which even that angel couldn't get through. And it's all thanks to me! Ha! Feel free to thank me all you want now! However, how is a dead person able to get through such tight security? Does anybody else see some contradictions here? Yeah, but I'm not dead! Soon, everyone will see that I'm still alive, and everything will get all ironed out! Uh, uh, please wait, everyone! 
everyone! A final boss can't walk so briskly! It's one of Desko's weaknesses! Sneak, sneak. <gasps> Are you a Prinny? Uh, yes, I sure am! I, I mean, yep, dude! I'm on the staff here, dude! So please excuse me now, dude! Oh, sure! Desko better hurry, too! You guys look rather suspicious. How did you get inside the building? Desko is not suspicious. She's just a girl who's training to become a final boss. Yeah, how could you accuse us pretty girls of being suspicious? Are you blind? I'm not a pretty girl. But I came here to complain about an article you bastards wrote. There's a typo! Fix it immediately! Um, just forget these idiots! Hey! Take a close look at me! I'm Sir Jeff the Measle, the President's one and only son! As you can see, I'm still alive! Our orders are to eliminate any suspicious individual on sight. Everyone, get in position! Hey! Wait! Listen to me! I'm the Netherworld President's only... Nonsense! Our duty is to remove all intruders! Looks like they have no intention of listening to what we have to say. Damn it! What's going on? How could this happen? I'll re-educate you! Yeah! I'll show you sardine power! Here I come! I'll show you! is wide open. Ready? 
Ugh. They're strong! Shall we continue? Let's fight until we can come to terms. I can go all night if we have to. Hey! Hold up! Stop fighting and listen to me! I'm the Netherworld President's only son, Sir Death Amazel! I'm the boss of all of you! Huh? A measle? I read an article that said he's dead. I even heard they already had the funeral. Funeral? No! That was rather prompt. I'm impressed. Henceforth, no one will believe your story now. They won't even have the slightest interest in it. What difference does it make if they're interested or not? I'm not dead! I'm still alive! Why don't you believe me? Why is it so hard to believe that the news was wrong? I don't know. If the President's son was still alive, don't you think they would have mentioned it in the newspaper? So you guys only believe what you read in the newspaper? <laughs> How big of a loser are you? They won't believe it, even when you're standing right in front of them. Are you really the president's son? Desko's starting to wonder. Shut up! This must be a mistake! Well, see ya. We have to go report the intruders to our higher-ups. Hey! Wait! <laughs> they have complete faith in the news articles that were issued by the Corruptorment. Have they given up the ability to view reality with their own eyes or to think with their own brains? Unfortunately, that's bound to happen to the masses. That's the reason information can be so easily manipulated. It's pathetic. Any source of information can alter the truth to their advantage and conceal or change any news that's harmful to them. Any information that is floating around the netherworld nowadays can be overwritten by the corruptment to their favor. Damn it. I'm not gonna stay dead. They will believe me. They will know that I'm alive. There they are! Intruders! This is your big opportunity. Make sure you show them that you're still alive. Rascal, your very existence is a fact. Go out there with confidence. Oh, uh, I know that, damn it! Just watch me. I got this. Can't you see this? You low-class demons! Look at the skull mark on my hood! This proves that I am Death and Measel, the only son of the president of the Netherworld! Right here! Me! I'm Zora Measel! Look! I'm still alive! You sound so desperate. Ah, <sighs> to be young again. Aw, Desko is jealous. She wants her own trademark, too. No way! Sir Amizel? 
Yes! It's me! Oh, cool. They finally believe me! Psych! Did you really think I'd fall for that? How dare you tarnish the name of poor, dead Sir Beasel? You impudent brat! Hey! But I am a measle! See? Of the skull? That looks too generic. I don't think they're gonna buy it. Hmm. So a trademark should be unique. Desco will take note of that. Unforgivable to take the death of the president's son lightly. You are hereby sentenced to death. What's wrong with you, Rascal? You can't change anything by looking down at the ground like that. You were killed once by their false news, and now they'll kill you for a false crime! Are you going to allow that, Rascal? Shut up! And stop calling me Rascal! I'm Death and Measle! Fine! I'm gonna prove to them that I'm still alive, even if I have to drill it into their brains! Huh. That's the spirit, Rascal. How thoughtful of you. You possess such an undemon like quality. It is one of your formidable powers. is wide open.
educate you! What else can I do? Do you see how superficial your authority is? At least you got through their security. If you want to, you can just go home now. You don't have to say it like that! You're the one who told me I could clear up the false news if I came here! Well, I lied. Now that we've gotten past their security system, we don't need you anymore. So, so, so you were only using me? That's right. You were used to further the achievements of our Lord's regime usurpation. You should be honored. You tricky bastard! <laughs> You're flattering me. Oh, uh, then does that mean the report of my death won't be changed? Have you been paying attention at all? We came here to take control of this place! Once that's complete, we can easily correct the false news. Uh, I, I see. Then we just have to defeat the Chief of the Bureau. Wait, that's right. The Chief. I just have to talk to her. The lackeys only know what the newspaper tells them. But the Chief should be another story. I'm gonna let her know that I'm still alive. She should be able to overturn the false news. He's failed every attempt he's made so far. Doesn't he ever learn? Inflicting some trauma might help him learn something. Shall we, Big Sis? Well, nah, I don't think we need to go that far. Did you just see that? I think I saw a Prinny. No, my lord, that was probably just all in your head. Hmm. In that case, it's fine. Are you the ones who were tarnishing our dearly departed Sir Amizel's name? 
Bastard! You fools are all being blinded by the newspaper's lies! I won't forget this! I'll prove that I'm still alive once I get to talk to the chief! I'm gonna report this to my father, and you'll all get busted down to the mailroom! Using your father's name again? <sighs> so pathetic. He's acting like a spoiled peon. Being around him is bad for Gesco's final boss training. Rascal, why did you come here? Wasn't it to prove that you exist? Or did you come here to reclaim your identity as your father's son? What? For both, of course. My existence and my identity as the President's son come as a set! Is that so? Haven't you realized that your existence can easily be erased without your identity? Why don't you leave your father's protection behind, stand up for your own free will, and take a step forward with your own two feet? It's the only way you'll ever be able to prove you exist. Oh, shut up! I don't need to be preached to by a pretty instructor! I'm the Netherworld President's only son! I'm gonna report you all to my father to receive severe punishment! Severe punishment. Hmm, good luck with that. I shall re-educate you! some balls. I shall re-educate you! Yeah! Yeah! is wide open. Here I come! Ha! Time to bust some balls! Here I come!
Kings! Yeah!
come. Sardines! Yeah! spread intentionally? What? What did you say? I expect that idiot to notice. Do you think that you may have already been abandoned by your dad? Oh, what are you talking about? I'm his only son. Father would never... But you're kind of a failure. Oh! That's not my fault! Deflecting responsibility for your mistakes? How pathetic. You should start over as a printing. You abandoned because you're so weak? In that case, you just like Fesco. I'll give you a little bit of my sympathy. Oh well, I think this experience will help you grow stronger anyway. I was pretty much neglected growing up too. Kids grow up to be tougher when they have harsher upbringings, you know? You say that so casually. Were you abandoned too? Uh-huh. I mean, it was basically the same thing. He's the worst dad ever. Big sis. <laughs> A bond among neglected children. Looks like our party is knitting together tighter than ever. Yes, my lord. However, I'm not sure if this is the kind of bond we're looking for. I didn't say I was abandoned just yet! Sardines!
I'll show you sardine power. Time to bust some balls. I won't lose. I won't lose. Wide open. Here I go.
I'll be fine. Father would never abandon me. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. What are you mumbling about? You're being annoying. If you're going to follow us around, then be quiet about it. You? Not only did you lie to me, but now you're giving me a lot of attitude. You better show me some respect. The only person I show respect to is Lord Valvatores. No one else, not even the President, is worthy of my respect. Do you understand, Welp? I'm telling Father about this! Dad, it sucks that I had to bring him up. He's the worst. Big Sis, do you really think Daddy abandoned you? Do I think? I know he abandoned me. He hasn't come home in over two years. Since Mom died, I'm the only family he's got. How could he leave such an adorable daughter all alone every day? Can you believe that? He even knows that my school is like two feet away from his office, and he still never comes by to say hi to me. Hm. Does he think he's not a deadbeat dad just because he sends me money? I can't approve of a father like that. Oh, big sis. I'm glad you two are getting along, but pay more attention to your surroundings. Look, there are enemies about. No, I'll never approve of him. Big Sis, watch out! Please focus on the battle for now. You a lesson. Time to bust some balls. Brace yourself.
Ready? Nini 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 Mr. President, I have more news on the invasion of the Information Bureau. I assume it's not good, judging from the tone of your voice. I've received a report that claims Sir Amizel is among the group of invaders. Oh, I hope he's there to show his backbone. But it's probably safer to assume the invaders are just using him. Their threatening level and the progress they've made so far. They must have brought some excellent forces to help you. Your previous order has been delivered to all of our members. Are there any other problems? No. Execute the order. 
The measel will. Are you sure? I thought he was your precious son. You shouldn't treat him like he's just another rebel. What do you want now? I just had an interesting thought. There is a way to quickly wrangle total obedience out of every demon in the netherworld. You know, those rebels seem to be bothering you quite a bit. You're probably thinking too hard about this. We have a great relationship, right? Just think of this brilliant idea as a gift from me to you. our security system again. Are you the chief? I'm bringing this bureau under our party's control. You should now obey me. Otherwise, we will use force. Chief, you recognize me, right? I'm the president's son, Death Amazel. I'm still alive! Can you retract the news of my death right away? Please! I'm sorry. What? See? Told you so. You don't have to act so surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. Big Sis is right. We really should have taught him a lesson by inflicting trauma. We printed the article about your death under orders of the corruptment. We can't retract it, even if you wish us to. Even if that person comes and asks? Can't believe this! Then... Can you tell my father that I'm here? Then he'll... The President was made aware of this situation quite a while ago. Huh? What do you mean? I sent him the video footage of you cowardly running away and getting knocked out. Along with a note that read, If you want to keep this video of your pathetic son out of the public eye, stay out of my bullets. That's blackmail! Oh my god! That's so nasty, you monster! It's a reasonable yet effective negotiation strategy. Bring the advantage to your side before the battle starts. It's a basic tactic. Uh, then... Father knew I was alive! That's correct. He issued that article knowing that you were still alive. It's just like how a lizard discards its tail to evade danger. A father is pretty good. So, father discarded me? Don't let this bring you down. Big Sis and Desco are in the same boat. Yeah, kids don't need their parents to grow up, so don't give up on yourself just yet. <laughs> it's, it's not like I was in complete denial about this earlier. There's no way that Father wouldn't know about a news article that was issued by the Corruptor Mint. But, but I, I just didn't want to believe it. <laughs> To uphold the tenets of the Information Bureau, we can't allow someone who has been reported dead to run around. We have to protect our credibility at all costs. Sir Amizu, are you prepared? Prescott, 
You're not going to give up now, are you? Does your existence completely rely on your identity as the President's son, after all? But... Father discarded his only son! I guess he got tired of me. Since his death, I have yet to take a single human soul. Would you prefer to die? Die? Me? Right now? No! No, no way! Then fight! You died once, so fight back as if you were still dead! That sounded like you were making a righteous comment, but something's wrong. Fight? Against what? Your daddy, of course! We may have different goals, but we're all rebels from Hades who wish to take over the regime. Who else would we fight? You're telling me to fight the corruptorment My own father? The time has come for you to make a decision, Rascal. If you choose to die here, I won't stop you. If you choose to live and prove you exist, then come with me. some balls.
Ready. Ready.
Ninja! Ninin -nin. ready! Ninin -nin. Information Bureau lost? I will never admit that fact. I control every bit of information! Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose! Is that your own personal form of denial? You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the Netherworld! But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times! Hundreds? Thousands? Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken! Over and over, forever! Oh, forever? Wow! How former tyrantly of you! I could really feel the weight of your threat! Yes! I learned a very valuable lesson! <laughs> Tyrant? And that power? By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatores? You got that right! That legendary Tyrant is still alive! And works as a printing instructor! Uh, uh, and what, what would such a Tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here. Please allow me to explain on his behalf. What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptment and its president crashing down, bring Hades to this world, and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm gonna be the new president. Desco is gonna be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah, that's right. I'm a complete failure. That is absolutely correct. Good job! You got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. What are you? Monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Okay. Anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. But that's why I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. Amnesia, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. From now on, I'm going to carve out a life of my own as Death Amnesia. And that is my final answer. 
when I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of. That's when I'm gonna let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own, Madam Rascal. Do you promise right here, right now? Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I'm... Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. Will you still make that promise? I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party and fight to usurp the regime! In time, you'll be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Tyrant Valvatoris gained another comrade and took another step towards completing his goal. Emizel's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon, will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix and will have a significant influence on the netherworld education system. However, at this point in history, another surprising matter still awaits them. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Valvatorius among their ranks, but now Sir Amiesel too! I must report this to the President! Hold it right there! Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude! Four hell that drained into the netherworld due to the information bureau neglecting its responsibilities. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Plus all other illegally obtained property. I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 hell. Uh, deed. You! That awkwardly placed you. You're not a real twenty, are you? Couldn't come to see an experienced pretty instructor with that boss? Reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. There's an angel inside that pretty? Could she be the Angel of Avarice? That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me... How about... Volcanus? Could you... What are you doing in the Netherworld? I, th I thought you died! Hartina! We were met with a surprising appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina. What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? But they do smell bad. They're like super fishy. Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off. Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? Next time, Episode 5, A Tyrant's Pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. Eat too many sardines? Got sardine bones stuck in your teeth? I'm not tired. I could never eat too many sardines. And the bones have already been taken care of. I'm just 
thinking over some things. Can you be quiet for a while? Think, thinking things over? You? Have you ever done anything that wasn't spontaneous? This isn't like you! Hey, you! Come over here! Oh, what is it? Hey! Stop pulling me! You idiot! Don't you get it? He's thinking about that angel girl! The angel? You mean the angel of Avarice? Oh, he still hasn't gotten over the fact that he let her go. Well, she did end up stealing all the money from the Information Bureau. <laughs> Man, her greediness is the stuff of legend. You're such a child. That's not why he's so out of it. Love must have something to do with his attitude. I can totally sense it. Love? That's a final boss with our genemy. Tesco is getting excited! <laughs> Love between a demon and angel? <laughs> that hat must be rotten your brain. Especially when you're talking about THE Tyrant Valvatores. That's impossible! My brain is as fresh as it can be. But then, how did he know that angel's name? They must have known each other in the past. So? Well, that doesn't mean they were in love. Desco is suspicious, especially since the tyrant let his prey run away so easily. Big Sis's theory is right. Desco stakes her reputation on it. Well, it's definitely weird, but so... Is that what love is? It's love. You know what? I'm starting to think you two are right. Plus, Mr. Valvatore shouted that she was supposed to be dead. <gasps> that means they were separated by death. That was their dramatic reunion. Desco can't... Desco can't... Desco can't stand this as a final boss. It has struck her heart. Forbidden love between a demon and You're all delusional. Calm yourselves, you little bitches. I'm going to rip your tongues out and feed them to the sludges if you don't. Somehow that doesn't sound like a joke when it comes out of your mouth. Of course it doesn't. It wasn't meant as a joke. He means it, Big Sis. It would be very hard to eat without a tongue. Desco is scared. Nowhere close to being a final boss if you're really that scared. You're not one to talk. Your voice and your knees are shaking like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that angel was just a common thief. Her presence poses no risk to our goals. Right, my lord? Hmm? Indeed. However, we can't ignore this matter either. If she's after the Netherworld's money, we should ignore her. It is your duty to ignore such futile matters in favor of keeping your focus on the big picture. I see. If you insist, then I agree. So, what shall be our next step? I already have something in mind. According to our research, which Sir Fenric ordered us to undertake, we suggest you move on to the mid-level demon area, dude. If you can bring them under your control, you'll gain the support of all the independent voters of the mid and lower levels, dude. That includes over half the Netherworld supporters. And that's all I got, dude. With that being said, what do you think, my lord? Mid-level demons. That may actually require a bit more effort this time. The Corruptor Mint has put a bounty on our heads after our invasions of the Plebeians and the Information Bureau. I expect the Corruptorment will intensify their efforts against us from now on. Bounty? Seriously? We're wanted now? Desco feels one step closer to becoming a final boss! <laughs> wanted? I bet they're still calling me the fake a measle! Bounty, huh? Interesting. So, how much are we worth? 10,000 hell, my lord. 10,000? That's all? Those bastards! How could they? 
make them regret putting such a low bounty on us? They're probably just broke. But as long as my lord is motivated, I'm fine with you keeping it that way. Indeed. Then let's go! To bring Hades to the netherworld and teach every living creature a lesson. Okay. To become the netherworld president. To become a magnificent final boss. To become a great demon and make father proud. Their goals are completely different from one another. That doesn't matter. No matter our goals, there's only one path we each can take. We are more united than ever. To fulfill each of our goals and to usurp the regime, let us bring the bourgeoisie under our control! Episode 5, The Angel of Atlas.
time to bust some balls!
Forgive me.
Here I come.
I go! Here I come! Oh, 
forgive me.
told you it was going to be over four hours long, but uh, I think I overdid it there. Earlier ago, as in one of the cutscenes, you notice how they poke fun at the whole idea of mainstream media? I think I'm going to turn that into a highlight when I get the chance. Also, I felt real sorry for Death and Measle and what he had to go through. So that was the reason why I went and over-leveled him when I got the chance. And right now he's already decked out with the uh, Fire, Ice, and Wind abilities. We'll be back on tomorrow night to get through number f episode 5 of this guy of 4. And after that we'll be at the halfway mark. I'm actually hoping I can get my characters up to level 50 at least before we move on with the game because it's going to get a lot harder from here on out though uh, difficulty may not be a problem if I continue to level up, get better gear, maybe go into the item world for uh, just to get just to uh, level up those items as well. And in the future I will do some reincarnation with some of the characters especially with Valvatoris, Fenric and uh, even Death and Measle himself. Till then Stay safe, stay healthy.